hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and today's video is going to be my December TBR. we get started, I will mention that my current read is Deal with the Devil by Kit Rocca. I am over halfway through. I am listening to the audiobook, but I'm going to try and follow along physically because I've just had such a struggle paying attention to the audiobook, but that's because I have been listening to it at times where I can't concentrate. It seems really good. I have thoughts about it, but those will be in my reviews on Goodreads and at the end of November in my wrap-up, so... Like, stay tuned for that. But this is my current read, and I hope to finish it. Today would be nice, but tomorrow is more likely. So this December, I will most likely be participating in two readathons. So my December TBR is going to be a mixture of the two readathons. I am going to try not to join any more readathons just because one of them is a month long and the other is a week long, so they do already overlap. And I, December, much like October, is a month where there are so many different readathons and they're all so fun and wonderful, but I just can't do too many of them. So I'm going to go through both readathons and go through the prompts and my answers, and that will kind of make up my December TBR. I don't plan on reading any books outside of the readathons for December because both readathons have enough prompts. Uh, I don't think I could read any more of them, even if I wanted to. But I will also note here that I do have a winter TBR, and that will be going up later in December when it's more closer to actually the winter solstice, when it's actually officially winter. And those books, I won't have a lot of overlap, but that's because those are books that I'm reading during the season of winter. So not just December, but January and February as well. So keep an eye out for that video, and the best way to do that is by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you're notified, but that will be a video with different books on that TBR. So, the first readathon that I'll be participating in is the month-long one, and that is the Reindeer Readathon, and this is hosted by Break Even Books. And I'm not on the right page in my bullet journal. The way this readathon works is that everyone is split up into teams and then each prompt is worth a certain amount of points. I have been assigned to Team Snowflake. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, and But the prompts are the same for everyone. You have your set number of prompts and then you have three bonus prompts. And then if you complete all the prompts within the time, then you may do one of the prompts again for extra points, but there are plenty of prompts. So if I can get through all the prompts, I will be very proud. So because it is the Reindeer Readathon, all the prompts are named after the reindeer. So let's go. Also, another thing to note is that you can't use one book for multiple prompts. So I do have a book for every prompt. All right, so the first one is Dasher. This is Anne. It's to read a short story or novella, and so I decided to go with Down Among... It is Down Among... Down Among the Six and Bows by Shauna McGuire. This is the second children in the Wayward Children series, and I recently got this, and I am really excited to read it, so. Then next up, we have Dancer, and this is to read a book by a favorite author, and I'm gonna go with Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim. I am a big fan of Elizabeth Lim's writing, and I have the first one, Spin the Dawn, uh, for some strange reason. I haven't read the second one. It's so stupid, um, but I do have the audiobook for it, so I'll be listening to it, but hopefully I won't be buying it shortly. Prompt number three is Prancer, and this is to read a book with travel, and so I'm going with One by One by Ruth Ware. Um, so this book is a, is a horror book, actually, is a thriller book. And these uh, bunch of co-workers travel to a cabin and then one by one they are murdered. So it's a little bit of travel, but it's very wintry themed. I was going to read this in October and then I decided let's save it for winter. Kind of break up the wintry reads while keeping still a winter setting. So 
Then we have Vixen, what is a book recently caught your eye? And I'm gonna go with The Other Side of Perfect, and this is by Mariko Turk. And this book was just sent to me by a friend of mine literally a couple days ago, and it is definitely caught my eye. This is a dance ballet themed book, and a lot of these books have like blue, kind of gray blue covers, and so it really fits in with that. because. I don't know, I think blue is just definitely a, is the winter color, um, so a lot of these books will have blue covers. <laughs> Moving on, we have Comet, and that is a five-star prediction, and so for that one, I have chosen Spy X Family Volume 4 by uh, Tatsuya Endo, and I chose this because I love this manga, and I don't see myself, I don't know if I can give any of these books less than a five star unless it's like absolutely atrocious. So I'm gonna keep going with this manga. Next up we have Cupid and that is to read a new author. And so here's a book that does not have a blue cover, it has an orangish cover and uh, that is Hunt of the Grimalkin. This is by Danny Swanson. I actually had the pleasure of meeting the author at the Twin Cities Comic Con and I am so excited to read this and it's nice and short which is great for readathons such as this one. So, and I mean, she's got flames coming out of her hands which is like, it reminds me of a fireplace and makes me think of warmth which is what we need in the winter. So, this is going to be my Cupid. And then we have Donner and that is to read a book with a red or green cover and for that one I am choosing In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I have never read a Christina Lauren book. This book was so popular last year, I believe. It was a book of the month book and everyone was loving it because everyone was reading a bunch of Christina Lauren. And last year I just was not in the mood to read a Groundhog's Day type book. But I think this year I'm going to try and read as many like Christmas set books like actually in the holiday taking place during winter. Um, so I decided to give this one a try, and this one I also have as an audiobook. Then the next one is a fun one, because for Blitzen, it was have three books and have someone else choose it for you, whether it was put it up on your Instagram, or Twitter, or ask someone, or do a pet thing and put treats on it and see which one your pet picks, you know, whatever. So I put polls up on my Twitter and Instagram, and if you're not following me on social media, my links are down below. So you can follow those on all of the fun things, fun bookish things that I post there. And I, the three books that I posted for people to choose was Window Shopping, Happily Ever Afters, and The Twelve Dates of Christmas. I am interested in reading all three of them, so none of them would have been a disappointment. And it was really close. Like, <laughs> like they were all within a few votes of each other. But the one that did win out is The Twelve Dates of Christmas. So I will be reading The Twelve Dates of Christmas. I will have to see if I'm going to buy the physical copy or try and get it as an audiobook. But I'm excited to read it. I think I would love to also read the other two books. Um, I've heard so many good things about the other two books and they caught my eye. So I will, for this readathon, be reading The Twelve Dates of Christmas. But that's not to say I didn't want to read the other books. And then the last prompt, yes, and then the last prompt is Rudolph and that is to read a standalone and for this one I have chosen Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory, Guillory? Mm -hmm. and this is about a woman who goes to England with her daughter on a work trip and ends up falling for I assume a royal or someone close to the royal family. Um, so again, you got the blue cover, romance, Christmas, holidays. So I will be reading all of these plus a few more for this readathon. And since I planned this readathon first, those are all the books I'm going to read. And then this next readathon, I did my best to incorporate as many of these books into that TBR because that one is only a week. Um, and it would just be a lot easier if I did the same books, but for different readathons. But what's fun about this second one that I'm doing, which I should probably just tell you, is the Falalalathon. And this one is partially reading, but also has a little bit of just winter activities in general. 
So that'll be a nice way to kind of change it up a little bit for me without adding too many more books onto my TBR. I also did purchase a bookmark from the Reindeer Readathon, and so I'm really excited to use that um, as I'm going through my books because I am going to read one at a time. I'm not going to do multiple at once, um, so I can use the Reindeer bookmark throughout the entire thing. And I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it really does. So now moving on to the Falalathon. Falalathon. <laughs> I can say it, I promise. Uh, the first prompt is to light a candle and read a book with blue on the cover. And as we saw and had been talking about, majority of these books have blue on the cover. But officially, I'm going to choose Royal Holiday because it is the most holiday-themed book with blue. It's almost like a blue-purple, but... Yeah, I'm choosing this one. And then the second prompt is to watch a movie, and for this one, I'll probably watch uh, The Princess Switch 3 with Vanessa Hudgens. I watched the first two. I'm not completely sure why. I think I just like Vanessa Hudgens, um, but it's really the only Christmas movie that has been advertised that is new this year that I've actually been like, yeah, I'll probably end up watching that, so that'll be the movie I watch for it. Oh, and the nice thing about the follow a lot -a is that you can overlap uh, books and prompts. So for the next one is to read a book with the holidays in them. Um, so I'm going to read the Royal Holiday for that one. It's literally in the title. So if there isn't winter holidays in here, I will be upset. Then the next one is Secret Santa. That is a book chosen for me. And so that's going to be the 12 Days of Christmas because it's a book that other people chose for me to read for the Reindeer Readathon. For the prompt to read a gifted book, I will be reading The Other Side Perfect as it was recently gifted to me and has a blue cover. So the next prompt is to take a picture of your book with Christmas decor or holiday decor. I celebrate Christmas, so that's my natural inclination, but I do recognize that there are other holidays around this time. So it's, it's to take a picture with whatever holiday decor, and if you don't celebrate Christmas or any of the holidays around this time, I'm sure you can find like a Christmas tree outside and put your book next to it and take a picture. Moving on, the next prompt is your newest book on your TBR, and if it's easier, it's the newest book on your physical TBR, so that's what I'm choosing, which again is The Other Side of Perfect, as it is the most recently acquired book I have, and therefore most recently added to my physical TBR. The next prompt is an action, is an action prompt, and that is to do a random act of kindness, and so I... So I've been thinking and planning how I'm going to do that, but I am not going to share the details because that is not something that I think should be publicized. I think that random acts of kindness should be just small little things that you don't do for attention. So I'll do it, but... And then the last prompt for the Falalala thon is read an own voice book with diverse rep. And again, I will be... Reading The Other Side of Perfect, our main character is Japanese-American, as is our author, and so own voices diversity rep right here. So that's kind of fun because that means I will have three books to read over that specific week, which by the way is the 12th to the 19th. I never said that. I'm sorry. Um, so it's these two and then listening to or reading The 12 Dates of Christmas. See, it's, everything is just blue. I'm even wearing a blue sweater. It looks really dark in the video, but I am wearing a blue sweater because so much of this is blue and just winter, December just seems blue. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are all the books that I am going to try and read this December and for both of these readathons. Let me know what you plan on reading this December and if you're doing any readathons and if there are any I need to check out, even though I said I'm not gonna do another one. We'll see, uh, because I will be going home halfway through December. I'm going to try and pre-film all of my videos so that we don't have to deal with no nice background or uh, lighting issues and things like that. So I will try and pre-film, but um, I will be going home, so that'll make it easier to read. Also, let me know if you want me to vlog anything. I would definitely be willing to do reading vlogs either just for the month of December for the Reindeer Readathon or even just vlogging the week of uh, the Falalathon. 
Um, and just having like a full week of being pure Christmas perfection, I will do my best. Um, but yeah, so comment down below what you're reading if you're interested in vlogs. Uh, yeah, otherwise, as I said earlier, click subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays now. I did change my uploading schedule. It just fits better with my work schedule. And, oh my goodness, it gets so dark. It's so hard because I come home from work and I immediately start to film, but it's already getting dark outside. But So that's why the ring light in my glasses is visible. Otherwise, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading.